Thank you. Thank you, organizer, uh, Sanjay, Nita, entire team. Always a pleasure. Uh, for a long time, I did not debate. When Nita called me to debate, I thought, oh, let's enjoy uh, the you know, the young life of debating everywhere in the country. And when I come to know that Rucha is going to, uh, to debate with me, uh, I was, you know, a little bit confused whether I should go ahead or not. Look, she has to take help of none other than the Prime Minister's photograph on the slide. <laughs> he is saying that she has come from Ahmedabad, but she is forgetting I am coming from Calcutta. The worthy opponent there sitting in the Bengal. <laughs> Jokes apart. All right, so my job is to give you the signs. You know, how many Tamilians are there in the hall? Please raise your hand. Oh, ma'am is there. Oh, no, you are not half. So my job is to, I'm the proponent for a ZLT2, and uh, many of you may not have realized that the president of American Diabetic Association is sitting in front of us and listening to the debate. Because he's the guy who made the guideline, and we are fighting here. <laughs> now the point is, why this collabority? <laughs> Any one of you know what is the meaning of collabority? You have sung this song tremendous times. Why this collabority? Means, you know, the exact meaning is there is a fierce race. Why there is a fierce race? Right? Don't blame me. ADA president is sitting. <laughs> so. The next agenda I am going to give you the science. No emotions. In science, there is no place of emotions. Finally, we have got a head-to-head -head trial between GLP-1 and SGLT-2 in the real world. Look at the science. All right. So the point was, why this Kola very D? Very simple, because here is the problem. And where is the problem? Is to look here. If you have got little bit of refractory error, let me notice. The ADA media guideline where you can see green mark as GLT2 in three place. If you have got a ASCVD, you use GLP1 or as GLT2. ADA didn't say that GLP1 is the first drug. No, it is because of alphabet that it is G is before S. And that's why the GLP1 is written on the left and as GLT on the right. Ask ADA president, is there any reason to believe that as GLT2 is less? then GLP-1, and that's why this is there. No, this is because of alphabet. My name is before the uh, Rucha's name because my name starts from A. That doesn't mean that she's inferior to me, right? So this is alphabet. So anyone can see, look here, as GLT-2. Why this collabority? Khatam? Chalo, okay. You are not satisfied, so let's look there. Very clever people in the earth is people from nice guideline. Very miser. Edward, are you there from UK? Jude? Oh, he, she has, he has come there. Where is it? I, I Edward. So, the people from UK, very clever. They published this guideline. It was initially draft. Now it's a guideline. February 2022. Look there. They are saying that use metformin or metformin with a ZLT2. Look here. If you don't have refractory error, look here. If you have got little bit of atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, heart failure, CKD, go for a ZLT2. Is there any GLP-1 anywhere in the NICE guideline? You can say they are a miser people. They will not use it GLP-1. Because it is a costly drug. And a GLT-2 gives you the similar benefit with a nothing of, if you look at, at the moment in the Indian country, uh, what should be the, you know, in terms of US dollar, if you look at the 8 rupees in Indian currency of a GLT-2 inhibitor. Right? So it is trivial. The cost of a GLT-2 in India is nothing. Right? So, the clever people from the world, United Kingdom, saying that, see, GLP-1, put it into the last. Now, there must be some reason behind that. Okay, I'm not going to these scores. Now, for the Rucha, I just thought to play this particular slide. I, I was uh, expecting that she is going to show you this slide. And, you know, this is the reason why there is a collabority. Because everything, if you look here, is equal. If you look, all CB outcome trial, this, this is indirect evidence from uh, the four uh, GLT-2 CB outcome trial and seven GLP-1 meta-analysis put together. Now, if you closely look at these uh, data, they are basically uh, juxtaposing each other. There is no debate. They are equal. Very simple. If you look, go down anywhere, in, in any endpoint. But there are certain differences which you need to decipher. Stroke. 
hand on as glt2 goes down glp1 is the winner there is no debate whatsoever and i agree with ruch i am with you now heart failure as glt2 far far better you agree with me but then look at the caveat uh the, this paper suggested that there is a possibility that glp1 can improve heart failure you know where from this data came i wrote a letter to the lancet diabetes and endocrinology from john mcmurray's meta analysis where they put harmony trial was the only glp1 trial where there was little reduction in heart failure but in original harmony cb outcome trial if you look at the njm publication the heart failure outcome was neutral and that's why i wrote a letter to editor what is the reason now that data derived that glp1 can improve heart failure but look at the caveat is there any trial in patients with heart failure where glp1 was found to reduce heart failure there is no trial look at the glt2 reduced ejection fraction preserved ejection fraction either reduced or preserved so low is whf i'm sure you heard about that look at the kidney outcome trial when you say glp1 reduces kidney end point it is primarily derived from albuminuria reduction there is no study in the planet with glp1 suggesting that it reduce progression to the end stage renal disease there is no data so these are the caveat when you are looking into the ada esd guideline and i'm sure ada president is taking note of where they miss the issues in the ada guideline you must put these caveat when you put glp1 as the front line saying that it works really good now then let's look at the evidence from the meta analysis if you look at the evidence uh, for the glt2 and glp1 you can see uh, here is the evidence you can see this is a 1a for the glt2 so is with the glp1 when it comes to cardiovascular benefit on the right hand side what about renal benefit where is the glp no study and therefore you don't have any evidence or you know any grade of evidence so you can see you can choose between the glp1 and as glt2 from this evidence now i will put you a few papers this is a recent paper in diabetologia you can see this is a study of 21 uh, rcts put into a network meta analysis look on your right hand side the tablets the cheaper 8 rupees tablet in india the green one is a glt2 inhibitor and this vial is for a glp1 could you see anywhere this green tablet is you know behind glp1 vial no way except in the stroke where perhaps the glp1 would be preferable there is no debate about that now look into this two paper and i would recommend uh, uh, my worthy opponent to read this two paper just recently published in bmj this is one of the largest network meta analysis and this is a B bmj proposed guideline what this actually looked into this paper this is a busy slide just for the rucha's interest we looked for the quantum of the benefit with glp1 and as glt2 inhibit so on your left hand side is as glt2 on different end points sorry this is not working uh, these all are sabotage huh? got up so you can see all those end point and if you look here closely if you have got uh, your clear minds and clear eyes you can see the quantum of the benefit although uh, the ada guideline put them on the similar table but look at the benefit now look here how many of the patient on a glt2 versus glp1 would get benefited in terms of saving his life all cause mortality according to the various grade of risk and i am not going to read compare a glt2 versus glp1 a glt2 versus glp1 a glt2 versus glp1 in every strata of the risk factor the glt2 is giving you a larger benefit saving more life than the glp1 so in nut cell if you look into all the end point barring the stroke the glt2 out beats glp1 and this is the quantum of benefit so in a class there has to be someone number 1 and some other as a number 2 and if you look at the number this is a scoring a glt2 scores except in the stroke as i clearly said there is no debate about it and therefore the bmj put a guideline that if i we have to make a guideline based on the current evidence as of 2022 until the month of july 2022 this should be the guideline and if you don't have refractory error you can read every year is the glt2 is there any debate to look at and i am saying why this colavery d look at this the evidence now let me go to even hard evidence 
I put it this slide. This paper is just now coming uh, in the forthcoming issue of clinical diabetology. And I wrote editorial to understand same debate, GLP-1 versus SGLT-2. Do I need to read? Confirm, almost confirmed, being confirmed, yet to be explored. Start from diabetes, CKD, reduced erection fraction, preserved erection fraction, acute heart failure, stable heart failure, decompensated heart failure, go to NAS, post MI, PCUS. This is SGLT2 data. And you can see all the studies in the evidence. Anyone can challenge me if you have got any doubt. What about GLP1? If I put the entire you know, things into the suge of SGLT2 on this account in terms of evidence. Anyone? Do you need any brains to understand? You don't need. Look here, I put it. Empty papers. You want to become first. Where is the evidence? You are, you are, you, you are trying to become first just by the green one. And, and look here. What about SGLT2? Everyone is green. I'm coming from Bengal, don't forget. <laughs> okay then. Now let's look into the big people from FDA. They are the boss in the world. How many marks they have given to the SGLT2? These are the current FDA or EMA level update for SGLT2. Just count the number of green ticks for SGLT2. I'm not going to read it. And then you compare with GLP1, green number of ticks. You are there. Please go to the back seat. Right? You are there. Very good. Very nice. But don't compare with this. Fine? Finally, now let's look into then These all are indirect evidence. There is no head-to-head GLT2, GLP1 trial in terms of you know, cardiovascular or renal endpoint. There is a head-to-head -head study on HPA1C metabolic parameter, but not on the cardiovascular and renal endpoint. But we do have head-to-head -head large real-world study, and because of paucity of time, I thought to show you only two papers. Enough. I don't want to waste time. So this is a recent paper from US. One database, more than 13,000 patients, they either give GLP-1 or a GLT-2, and they looked for the different endpoint whether a patient has got a background heart disease or do not have heart disease. You can see on your left-hand side is a GLT2, on your right-hand side is GLP1 in 13,000 adults, follow-up for five years. Here is the result. And you can see on some of the endpoints, these were neutral, but on some, some of the endpoints, a GLT2 outsmarts GLP1. Now you will say, oh, 15, 13,000, India is a big country, very small data. I will show you the rich data. Three databases from US, 4.7 lakh. This will cater the entire Ahmedabad. And if you put GLP-1, and you can see where it has been published recently, Annals of Internal Medicine on these endpoint BG slide, you can see everything is on this, you know, at the unity, if you see the forest plot. But if you closely look, if you don't have refractory error, you can find out a GLT on your left hand side. Show me anything on your right, any data, no way. This is called evidence. And I will set my point simply by putting you the evidence in front of you. You have got a two drugs with this data, left-hand side is GLT2, right-hand side GLP1. Don't forget to look at the bottom, because when you are going to take this, you put your hand inside your bottom, right? Look at the cost. A month therapy of a GLT2 will fetch 300 rupees in branded generics in India. And if you look into the GLP1, 10,000 bucks. 300 versus 10,000. Ahmedabad has to provide me all the money required <laughs> for this 300 versus 10,000 rupees. Thank you very much for your patience listening. <laughs>